Hey there, Case. Galvin. I have been looking at this book in your room and I think you might be missing it. So allow me to read you Madeline and the Cats of Rome. From an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, left twelve little girls in two straight lines. Their bags were packed, a camera stowed. They were ready to escape the cold. The train, it leaves a half past nine. Hurry, hurry, Madeline. Across the Alps, the pace was slow. The mountains still were packed with snow. But the far and further south they traveled, the more that winter came unraveled. Although it's dreary back at home, the time had come for... Spring in Rome. Down the steps they took a stroll. Hearing bells of churches toll. Here's a fountain they found quite appealing. And everyone loved the Sistine ceiling. But in Italy, the greatest treat comes when it is time to eat. Miss Cavell said, over here, senor. Twelve plates of pasta, por favor. The hours of the day were running out. The sun was setting, or just about. One last photo, press in tight, said Miss Clavel. Yes, that's right. But the moment she had her camera drawn... It was yanked from her hands by the strap and was gone. Madeline took up the chase. First a thief, and now a race. Into the fountain with a splash. Through the market with a dash. Across the river, they kept the tail, but coming back, they lost the trail. Madeline said, there is no justice. That little thief completely lost us. Just then, a cat, seeking some affection, arched its back in Madeline's direction. Madeline said, my, what a nice kitten. Her dog was of a different opinion. Genevieve, Madeline cried too late. She followed the cat through a locked up gate into a house about to fall down, found in the poorest part of town. Madeline pushed the door. It creaked. Is anyone there? She said as she peeked. From somewhere deep in the shadowy dark, she heard Genevieve's whimpering bark. Then Madeline saw, to her great surprise, those shining, staring, glaring eyes. There were cats, cats, look at them all. Cats, there were cats on the sofa, cats in the hall, cats coming out of a hole in the wall. A voice behind them, clear and strong, said, you have come where you don't belong. Madeline turned in disbelief to see it was the camera thief. Yes, tis I, the thief Katrina, protector of the Kalina Felina. We are the orphans of the street, these cats and I, so we may eat is the reason why I steal from you tourist passerbys. While I applaud your charity, let me say with clarity, 
Stealing is wrong, no matter the cause. You may not like it, but those are the laws. It is easy for you to judge and scold. For what do you know of hunger and cold? Here is your camera. Now don't be slow. Just take your well-groomed mutt and go. And the two of them left in a hurry. But now they had a different worry. What was the name of their hotel? How would they find dear Miss Clavel? Little girl, would you be a bother to photograph me and my father? But the picture that Madeline took was a portrait of a crook. Hey, Madeline, thanks for the assistance, Katrina said, running into the distance. The victims were stunned, and both of them hollered. But lo and behold, the thief got collared. Gotcha, said the cop as he seized her. And don't forget her accomplice, either. Miss Clavel was at the court to file a missing persons report. That's the second case I've heard today of children who have gone astray. Their daughter, too, has disappeared. I'm afraid to say the worst is feared. Then in came two criminals, walking slow, their noses sniffling, their heads hung low. What a shameful sign of the time, still so young to turn to crime. Madeline, the girls rejoiced, with hugs and cheers and eyes all moist. Katrina, the parents cried, when you missed dinner, we thought you died. Dinner, a home, a family, you lied to me. I just wanted to help the cats somehow, Katrina said, what will happen to them now? What's this about some cats I hear, said Papa, how many do you have, my dear? Katrina only made it to eleven, and then her mother said, Oh, good heaven, all of these cats, what shall we do? Not a person had a clue. And Madeline had an inspiration for how to solve the situation. First, a complete evacuation. Then, a rescue operation. Cats to adopt. We're going to give away all those cats to nice homes. An orange tabby was bound for Brazil, a calico for Notting Hill. Two more would be meowing in Russian, off to Stockholm with their cousins. Kippa Pepe, a spotted kitty, would make his way to New York City. And another, missing half a tail, was flying home to Israel. One last kitten would be going home to a beautiful house right here in Rome. My parents are letting me keep this one. Thanks, Madeline, for all you've done. Her cat let out a happy meow. And now, dear reader, I bid you ciao. Hope that was a good story, Case. You can watch it over and over and over again. Love ya. Have a good night. Love you, little guy.